Hi, I'm Amanda from the Williams Sonoma Test Kitchen, and today I'm making puffed quinoa bars in the new KitchenAid Mini Artisan Stand Mixer. We have fallen in love with this stand mixer. You can see by the size, it's 20% smaller than a regular KitchenAid stand mixer, and it's 25% lighter. So it's perfect for small spaces or for the occasional baker. So let's get started on our recipe. I've got these gorgeous ingredients like flax seeds and sunflower <coughs> seeds and puffed quinoa. And you'll see I have some dried cherries and almonds and some other things to give this bar some great texture and kind of balance the sweetness with the crunch. I've got some cinnamon here. So this is the bowl with this really easy grip handle. We also sell a model without this handle, but I love this one when I'm working with doughs. We're just gonna turn it on right here. And you'll notice that it's slow to start, so all the ingredients don't fly out on you when you start to mix things. Okay, so as those ingredients combine, I'm just adding a quarter cup of rice syrup. The rice syrup gives it that texture that you'd expect from a bar, so it's chewy and delicious. I'm also using the model with the flat edge beater that's got the scraper on it, so you don't have to stop constantly and scrape it down and start over. It looks like it's combined. You're just gonna go into a 350 degree oven for like 18 to 20 minutes. And you'll see too that I've lined my baking pan with parchment paper. It's gonna make them so much easier to take out of the oven and pull off before you cut them. Okay, let's just pat it down. Okay, into the oven they go. So I've let my bars cool for an hour and they're ready to cut. This is where it comes in really handy that they were on parchment paper. Just gonna slide right off onto the board. They have that great texture of a granola bar. Pop it in a lunch box, take them to work. Get the recipe for these puffed quinoa bars on our website at williamsonoma.com. And do you like to make your own granola bars? Let us know what your favorite combination is in the comments section.